Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this rotating coin effect with your logo or text on it using Element 3D plugin in Adobe After Effects. So hope this tutorial will be useful and by the end of this tutorial, if you have learned anything new from this, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I am using After Effects 2020. So now let's start this by creating a new composition. Further click on this new composition. Go to this preset options. I am selecting this HDTV 1080 with a frame rate of 24 and a duration of 6 seconds. Hit OK. Now let's import our logo onto this project panel. Further right click on this project panel, import select your files or else you can directly select your logos and drop them onto this project panel. So here I got these two logos. So first let me import this Godzilla vs Kong logo, drop it onto this timeline. Nice. So select this logo layer, go to this layer options and auto trace that one. Apply it to new layer and hit OK. So we got an auto tracer layer of this Godzilla Kong. Let me rename it. So I will rename it as G and now let me drag and drop this Justice League logo. It's in black, so it's not visible here. So let me go to this layer options, auto trace, apply new layer and hit OK. So I got this auto traced layer of this Justice League. So let me rename this to JL. Okay. So we can delete these logos here. Let me delete it. Okay. Now let's create a solid layer for element 3D. So for that go to this layer options, new, create a solid. Let me rename this as element, make it as comp size and hit OK. Now come to this effects and presets panel. If you're not finding this panel here, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element. So this is a third party plugin. We need to download it separately. So select this element and drop it onto this element layer. So in effects control panel, Come to this custom layers, expand it and in custom text and mask, expand that one. So in path layer one, I will select this Justice League auto traced layer and in path layer two, I will select this G and K auto traced layer. Okay. Remember that in layer one, we got Justice League. In layer two, we got Godzilla and Kong. Okay. Now click on the scene setup. So here we got a new window to work in elementary. So as soon as I click on this extrude button, we will get this Justice League logo because it is in path layer 1. So we got this Justice League one. So let me change some settings here. So expand this. We got only one bevel. So if you want to add some materials, we will get some presets. So come to this physical. So here you saying we got this default presets. Simply drag and drop it on that. So we will get this here. So I think let me use this one. Okay. Now press R and let me increase this extrusion here like this. Okay, fine. So in path one, we got this justice logo. So let me duplicate this one. So right click and duplicate model. So select this second one and in custom path here, change it to path two. So we'll get, let me show you. We'll get this Godzilla versus Kong logo here as soon as we select this second one. So let me change this scaling bit. So select this first one, let's scroll down and let me scale this it down here. Fine. So let me extrude, select this second, press R and reduce the extrusion of this. Fine. So let me change this to, let me rename this to JL and let me rename this as G. Now let's create our coin itself. So let me hide out this both. Now come to this create option. Pick this cylinder. So we got cylinder here. So click on this rotation tool and let me rotate it here. I think let me rotate it in 90 degrees. Okay. So let me scale it up. So let me scale it up here. Let me reduce this extrusion. So here. Come to this height and let me reduce the height here a bit. So if we observe these edges, this is not smooth. So let's increase this 
sides to 90 so select this sides and increase to 90 so that we will get this nice smooth corners so let me reduce this chamfer to 0 0.01 fine nice now again go to this create option and select this one now let me rotate it here again to 90 okay let me scale it up here like this let me reduce the height so let me reduce the height till here now let me raise this internal radius to 85 85 would be fine I think we should increase the scaling a bit so let me increase the scaling here okay so these edges are also not smooth so let me come to this sides and increase this sides number to 90 and raise the chamfer 0 0.01 okay so we got our coin ready here so if you want to increase the extrusion you can do that you can select that model press r and you can increase the extrusion like this so do the necessity changes as you like okay now let's apply some materials onto this so come to this material options physical so i, I will apply this chrome material so apply this chrome material onto this both okay so chrome is applied on this both so let me reduce this internal radius okay fine now let's enable or bring back our logo layers so this is justice league logo so okay here it is let's place it here now let's reduce the scaling so let me reduce the scaling here so that it fits at the center yes i think let me increase the extrusion press r and increase the extrusion w to move it a bit here okay so we got our justice league logo here now enable this second one here we got this godzilla thing so select that so let's bring it behind here like this now let's rotate it so select this rotation tool option and let me rotate it here like 180 okay so now press w and move it back again okay so in this side we got this godzilla versus kong and this side justice league so if you want to change the materials you can do at any point so if we expand this we will get the material options so simply select the material you want to change and drag and drop the materials you want to apply so godzilla vs kong for this and justice league let the color be like this only so here you can see we are done with the coin and we place the logos onto the coin okay now let's create a ground plane for the reflections so go to this create select this plane now press R on the keyboard or else you can increase the scaling here. Let me increase the scaling here only. And size, let me change it to 25 and 25. Now press W on the keyboard and move it downward and just place it above to this coin. So this is the ground base. So place it here. Okay. Now let's apply some material onto this base so here i will apply this chrome material and select this model come to this reflect mode and change this reflect mode to mirror surface so here you can see we got the reflections here so i don't want this plane to be visible in the output i want only reflections so let me show you how we can hide out this plane without losing the reflections so select this material scroll down to this advanced settings come to this advanced settings and here we will get an option called matte reflection simply enable it so we will get rid of that plane without losing our reflections so here i will reduce the glossiness here so scroll down sorry scroll up and come to this where is this come to this glossiness value and let me change this to 75 percent okay so we got this nice reflections here so one more thing i need to show you here if we observe all these models are in group one folder okay so remember that one now hit okay so we can hide out this auto tracer layers let me hide out that don't delete them just hide out and now select this element layer as said before earlier all these are in group one so we need to work in group one so expand this group one let's add some rotation keyframes 
to give some rotation animation so be on the first frame come to this particle look expand this particle look come to this particle rotation now be on the first frame enable keyframe of this y rotation and move to the last frame and change the value to 359 so don't give 360 degrees that means one complete rotation because we won't get loop animation smooth loop animation if we give 360 so give 359 only so if i play this you can see we got this nice smooth loop kind of rotation after adding those keyframes nice now let's make it look better so scroll down to this render settings expand this and expand this ambient occlusion and enable ambient occlusion so intensity i will change to 8 okay looks better now come to this lighting options add lighting and we can change it to sunset or dramatic just we will get small difference depending upon the scene here so i will change this to cinema okay so that we will get some reflections here so finally let's enable some mirror reflections onto this materials also so let me go back to this scene setup once again select each material and come to this reflect mode and change it to mirror surface select this one reflect mode change it to mirror surface select this logos let come to this reflect mode change to mirror surface and this logo also change to mirror surface fine now hit okay so finally let's add camera layer so go to this layer options new camera let the default settings be as it is and hit okay now let me select this track the camera tool and let me zoom it out a bit here so that we will get those reflections visible here so in this way we can create this nice rotating coin along with the logos on it in adobe after effects using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye